Morning everyone, Philippa here and Cookie who is uh, munching away at the hedgerows at the moment as we are Christmas Eve day 20 of our Cookie's 100 mile Christmas challenge. I've been trying to find the opportunity to just say a few words to say Happy Christmas or just send best wishes at Christmas to everybody out there. We've had quite a year, everybody has had quite a year with Covid and everything else going on. But do you know what? We've got to Christmas and that's quite something. I know that Christmas is such a hard time of the year for bereaved parents and it's such a big hole in your life to lose a baby and Christmas is so difficult because it is such a family orientated time. And you know, in many cases, it's not just one hole, it's, it's many holes. And so I just wanted to say, you know, we are sending you love this Christmas and you're not alone. There are many of us out there who are there to support you and we're there anytime you need. And if you're struggling this Christmas, please do reach out. There are helplines out there. SANS has a helpline and there are many other helplines out there. You can always message us, we can signpost you. Our SAM tends to not stop work, um, no matter what day of the year it is, um, but we're here for you. And I suppose I wanted to take the opportunity as well to thank a few people for this year. So I suppose, first of all, I'd like to thank our wonderful Board of Trustees, Hemant Mirage, Karen Roberts, Ed, Rebecca, Lydia, they've all been absolutely brilliant this year and they're so passionate and enthusiastic about what we're doing. I'd like to thank um, Lindsay Alley, who worked with us for a number of months to set up the development for SOS Baby Loss, our new online signposting resource for bereaved parents to try and help parents find the help they need when they need it most. It was something that was such a big gap in the service and even though things have improved, I hear it over and over again, you know, we wish we had this when we were going through losing our baby. And, you know, we hear it from other charities. There just needs to be more help for people to be able to signpost. So we're looking forward in mid-January to be able to open that up to, um, a wider group of people open it up publicly on the website we'll keep you posted on that and on what's happening with that um, I'd also like to thank John who sits behind all of our technical development SOS baby loss was his concept and there's always traffic when you don't want it isn't there um, to John who has developed SOS baby loss and he keeps the wheels turning with the website and with everything that we need from a technical perspective. I'd like to thank everybody who's been involved with our podcasts this year. We now have podcasts on our website. Um, if you're struggling this Christmas, it may help you. Recently, we have had two parents, um, Andy Rook and Laura Mason who have recorded podcasts with me to talk about their experience in Christmas and how best they cope. Um, and also the most recent, the counselling podcast with Jane Gibbons from Hope House. And she's also given a little bit of advice at the end for bereaved parents. So if you are struggling, they might be worth a listen. On top of that, I really want to thank everybody involved with Our Stars Choir. It's been an amazing year for the choir. The choir themselves are just the most inspirational, wonderful group of people. And they're led by the fantastic Steve Taylor, who just, do you know what? Steve gives his time to this choir and he puts so much work in and we are so incredibly grateful to him. He's wonderful and he keeps everyone's spirits up and he keeps, yeah, everybody's confidence up which is fantastic also those who've been involved with Little Light Chris Hollis without whom we wouldn't have any music for Little Light um, Angela Inkson who kindly gave her time to um, lead vocals with Little Light that was fantastic and Ben Thomas in the studio um, and so many people so many people were involved with that and <coughs> excuse me that <coughs> that is still available on download 
so you can still download that. Every penny goes towards our SAM and the resources that we use. Most of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported our SAM in its first year, in our first year. Um, it was a tough time to set up a charity and it's even tougher when it's baby loss because baby loss is still something that people just don't like to talk about. But we're here a year on and we're really about to launch what we need to launch, which is fantastic news. We'd also like to thank Liverpool Women's Hospital who've been an integral part of testing SOS Baby Loss with us. Um, what a wonderful team on the Honeysuckle unit at Liverpool Women's Hospital. So that's it from me um, this Christmas. We've got Christmas Day tomorrow. I know that's going to be tough for some people, but we are sending all our love and all our support. And I'd better get going with this pony um, before she eats her way through the whole hedgerow. But thank you again. Take care and very best wishes this Christmas. See you in 2022.